In this video, I'm going to give you some tips for solving the Alex problem called identifying common polyatomic ions. This problem is going to have a table with four spots for you to identify either the name of a polyatomic ion from its formula or vice versa, the formula from its name. I think the easiest way for you to start solving this problem is just to go to the internet and look for a table of common polyatomic ions. They're all over the internet. Uh, common polyatomic ion chart is super handy to have, and there's a ton of them. So you just really need to find one that is in a format that is the most appealing to you. I'm just going to look at some images of them. This is a table of polyatomic ions that I've used quite a bit. It's pretty complete. It's got a lot on it. A lot of information on it. So um, for when we're starting with the formula, looking for the name, I'm looking for MnO4. You not need to make sure that you're paying attention not just to the atoms, but also um, to the charges. There are a lot of polyatomic ions that have really similar formulas. So here is my MnO4. Oh, on this, this particular uh, table of polyatomic ions. It has them in one column. It has them sorted alphabetically by their name. And in another column, it has them sorted alphabetically by their formula. So here is the one that I'm looking for, MnO4. Notice that there are two very similar polyatomic ions. So you do need to pay quite a bit of good attention to the actual formula. The one that I'm looking at is permanganate. Make sure that you spell it correctly. Otherwise, Alex is going to mark it wrong. The second one that I'm looking for is NH4+, which is right there. That is ammonium. And then for my other two, uh, these ones are ones that I have the name of them. So I am going to look for chlor which is not to be confused with chlor I'm going to make sure we have good attention to detail. The chlor is cl O3 with a negative one charge. And then last but not least, I'm looking for carbonate, which is right up above it. And that is CO3 with a negative two charge. 